Welcome to the NYSE Big Startup, a show about unlocking potential brought to you by NYSE and hosted by me, Guy Kawasaki. MongoDB is an open source database. It's a new kind of database. They call them NoSQL databases because they're non-relational. And then Tengen is our company. Um, we started the project four and a half years ago, the MongoDB project, and then we're providing the commercial services around it for um, companies. Coming from DoubleClick, you saw the problem, and so you decided to solve a problem because you knew of the problem firsthand. I mean, is that a good sort of path for an entrepreneur watching this video? I think a good path is you, you have to solve a problem, is, is look for a problem or a need, mm -hmm. right? Look at trends, like technology trends, and, and try to intersect those, and then try to solve it. Looking back, do you have any regrets about what you did with TenGen that you, know, you, you would have done differently had you known? I've done a few projects over the years, and some have gone better than others, right? So uh, this one's gone really well so far, so I'm really optimistic. Um, you know, sometimes the, the, when I've, for me personally, like as an entrepreneur, when things haven't worked, I find that in hindsight, it was usually a problem was the thesis or the business plan, right? Because if the, if the basic thesis is just doesn't hold, mm -hmm. it's not going to work. It doesn't matter how well you execute them. The thesis is wrong, change it. And, and, uh, and then uh, two is do it early enough that, that you still have Money. capital, <laughs> right? Because if you say, oh, this isn't going to work, but you just spent your last dollar. When you financed this company, did you go first angels, then venture capitalists? Did you go straight to venture capital? How did that work? In general, I think when you're starting a company, you know, one is raise money wherever you can. That's fine. You know, friends and family, angel investors, or, or VCs. Angel rounds are very kind of, kind of can be low effort, right? You can kind of get it done and boom, where, you know, with, with the venture folks, you can, you can have a lot of conversations and then you just never get to the finish line. If you're, for a first time entrepreneur, I think it's generally a good thing because they will give you advice. And, and try to help. Any more lessons that you'd like to communicate to you know, first-time entrepreneurs or early entrepreneurs? Yeah, I found most important is just recruiting. Mm -hmm. You just gotta get great people. So just spend all your time on it. You, know, uh, you could spend 50% of your time on recruiting alone, and that would be a good idea. Any final tips for our viewers? Yeah. Um, I think one interesting question if you're thinking about starting a company or, or being on a team that's starting a company is, is when do you do it? I went and got a job in, in uh, non-startup world for about five years. And I found that I learned a lot while doing that. And then um, I went to start a company. And, and I found that worked perfectly because Kind of after five years, I'd learned some things about the business world, especially coming from more of an engineering education. And so I had some, some, some business knowledge then from the real world. You see, okay, what's product management do here? What does the doc team do? What does marketing do? You know, how does sales work? You know, you go on a couple of sales calls, you see support, you see, every, you see all that stuff because it's all adjacent to you. And, 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 and you, so you, you kind of see how it's done and, and you learn a lot. All right, thank you very much. Thank Great you. interview. Thank you for watching the NYSE Big Startup.